Hey guys, I'm home today with a sick kid, still rocking the Harry Krishna junk, waiting on my bangs to grow out. And I thought I'd share my nighttime beauty routine just because it's changed so much since October. And back in June, my OBGYN told me I had to cut out the retin-A. You can't retin-A when you're fixing to try to get pregnant. So I had to have a couple months out of that before we could have another kid. So let me show you what I'm doing in place of my super harsh retin -A treatment, which was working amazing. If you're not pregnant or breastfeeding or planning on being pregnant or breastfeeding, you get Retin-A, it is a game changer. I can promise you after we have our second kid and I'm done breastfeeding, I'm getting back on the Retin-A because it was so great. So right now, the two main things I wanted to address skin-wise that I was addressing with the Retin-A was acne issues and uh, like fine lines and wrinkles. So let me tell and look, let me get all this straight. So my day to day kind of changes like Monday to Sunday. And so I'm going to kind of show y'all what I do from Monday to Sunday. So starting out, this is what I do every single night. I use CeraVe moisturizing cream. Where is it? Let me turn it. I'm not good at this. CeraVe moisturizing cream for my nighttime cream. It's a really nice thick cream. It's not like they're thin daytime cream. I love it. And then underneath this, I probably should have done this in order. Anyway, first I put on Matrixel. Can you see that? Yes, a little bit. Matrixel. Uh, the Ordinary makes a really good one. This is just Astrowood Naturals that I got off of Amazon. The other, that's a serum. The oil I use is Olivia Care 100% Natural Rose Hip Oil. Um, I recently ordered, this one's out, it ran out today. Um, I recently ordered Teddy's rosehip oil that's an organic one from Amazon and it should be in tomorrow if my Amazon is not lying to me. I'm starting to think it's some magical unicorn because I ordered it a week ago and this has been the longest shipping product in ages. And then eye cream wise, back to CeraVe. Should I turn it sideways so you can see? It's just the CeraVe eye repair cream. Love it. That's So that's my basics. Matrixel, Rosehip oil, CeraVe eye cream, and then CeraVe lotion. Now, on my in-between days, this is what I do. If I'm having a little bit of acne, no, this is not something you buy over the counter. It's, uh, I can't even, Slendiacin, Slin I don't know what it is. It's some, uh, however you say it, it's an acne, and it's a topical antibiotic that my dermatologist gave me from when I was doing Retin-A. My OBGYN did tell me though that I could continue to use this when I'm pregnant. So I went a few weeks ago and got another bottle of it before my prescription expires. Just so I can use it while I'm pregnant because I have a breakout. And then here's my other two add-ins on occasion and that is vitamin E oil. It's the things run off and I use that a lot if I just have like a dry patch. Underneath my nose I've been getting a lot of redness just from uh you can see the tissues in the back because it's the allergies are just bad in South Louisiana. And so that helps heal that. And then castor oil. Where's that at? Castor oil, my friends. I use that on my hair and then on my eyelashes and sometimes on my eyebrows. It's also a really good moisturizer. So if I feel like my under eyes super dry, I'll use that there as well. Mm -hmm. So that is the CeraVe, the first part. Nightly. Those when needed. Now, this is my add in nighttime routine that I'm about to show you to take the place of Retin-A since I can't have it. So on Monday night, after I wash my face and take off all my makeup, which you can see school's back in session because makeup's on my face. Anyway, Monday night, after I wash my face, before I get to this, the moisturizing and everything, I use Milky Piggy Hell Pore Cleanup Mask. And if I look cross-eyed, it's because I'm trying to read it off the screen. Anyway. I use that. I only put it, and I haven't put it right here. I accidentally got it on like the redness part of my nose that I've been dealing with, and it ripped the skin off and made it way worse. So I've been putting that on my nose and on my chin, and I put a little bit there just because it's really great at peeling off. It's a peel-off mask, and let me go ahead and tell you, I do not suggest putting it across your cheeks or your forehead or anything sensitive where you could get too much hair in it because it will hurt like the dickens. It's not... It's not a full face mask. I know some people tried it that way. You'll see like Tati Westbrook did a review of it maybe last year, put it all over her entire face and said it was the most painful mask she's ever done. That's because she did it on her whole face. Stick to just your nose and your chin 
and you'll be in business. This takes off dead skin. It takes off all the blackheads. Like my, my nose is probably a little bit clearer right now than it was using Retin-A. And as per the usual with these Korean products, there's no English. So that's Monday night. Tuesday night, I take a break. I don't do a mask or anything. So after I wash my face, I then put on my oils. First, I start off with my two, my serum and my oil, as always. And then I use a derma roller or micro needling. It's kind of called either one. I have a 0.25. I started, I decided to start out small. I was going to start off with a 0.5, but then I went down. What I do with this is I just do, uh, I roll it across my face up, sideways, and then you go one direction and then the other direction angular and with that you'll hit up everything it's supposed to like heal scarring it's supposed to help with uh just getting your oils and everything deeper into your face or your serums and then what else did they say so serum scarring it's supposed to help with wrinkles it promotes collagen production because it's kind of breaking down the skin making the skin rebuild itself so this is a great you know i can't have retin-a thing so that's tuesday night you do this and then Sarah V. Now, Wednesday night, wash my face as usual, and then we're back to Milky Piggy. I've kind of gotten obsessed with them. This is the Kangazi pack. It's their gold one. Again, no English. That's not what's happening here. This doesn't hurt whatsoever. It's not that kind of mask. This mask is supposed to be firming and help just with overall like anti-aging. It's supposed to be an anti-aging mask. So that's Wednesday night. You leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I put on all my stuff again. Thursday night, you'll notice I'm taking a break in between things. Thursday night, we're back to the micro needling. I do that, put on all of my serums and my lotion. And so it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday night is yet another Milky Piggy product. This, I'm, trust me, I'm not getting paid for this. I've ordered all this myself off of Amazon because I so dearly love it because it's that great. And so on Fridays, I do their sleep pack, which is the Milky Piggy Collagen Jella pack. It's called like Ella Zaveca Green Piggy. I don't know. If you put in Mickey, Mickey, Milky Piggy on Amazon Collagen Jella pack or sleep pack, that'll pop up. So I do that Friday, but I do it a little bit different than the other ones. I put this on instead of the CeraVe. So, wash my face, put on Matrixel rosehip oil, put on eye cream, and then put on the sleep pack with no moisturizer. This is it. Now, if I wake up during the night and I felt my skin, like my skin is a little bit dry, I will put some CeraVe on top of that. It comes with a little paddle and it has another seal on it. Let me take this off so you can kind of see the inside. It's made I saw somewhere, maybe I read it in English because this is yet another not an English product. Um, I read somewhere that it actually did have pig collagen in it, but that's what the deal is. Can you see it on here? It kind of jiggles like jello. Is it going to do it? Can you see it? It jiggles. It's a really odd texture, but it's super moisturizing and it smells great. So I did that on Fridays. Saturday, Sunday, back to this, and that's it. I repeat the process on Mondays. So. Like I said, wash my face, take off all the makeup, Matrixel, rosehip oil, CeraVe eye cream, CeraVe moisturizing cream for normal to dry. It's just their thick skin, thick skin, thick cream. I know they have a PM cream, but I never have been able to find it in store. And then these are my three Milky Piggy, I can't talk today. These are my three Milky Piggy products that I'm obsessed with that my that's my plan to use this stuff since I can't use Retin-A and then Derma Roll in between. And this was probably like 10 or 12 bucks on Amazon. So none of it, actually none of this stock stuff cost over $12 on Amazon. Not even this one. Now the teddies that I just ordered that I'm waiting on to come in, which I will link below in everything that cost 20, but how much is this? This is one fluid ounce, fluid, fluid. Like I said, I can't talk today. One fluid ounce for about 10, the Teddy's Organics Rosehip Oil. I got four ounces for $21, so I felt like that was a way better deal. So super affordable nighttime routine. So far, it's working great. My skin's moisturized. I, hadn't, I haven't seen a lot of acne. It hasn't reverted back ridiculously since um, I quit Retin-A a month ago or a month and a half ago. What else? I can't think of it. Um, 
So that's nighttime. If you have any questions about nighttime routine, what I'm doing instead of Retin-A, ask in the blog post. You can ask on Amazon. You can tweet me, LA Bride, on Twitter. I'm also LA Bride on Instagram and Louisiana Bride on Facebook. So see you guys later. Bye.